All right, well, <laughs> hello, welcome to back to our Riverdale podcast. Uh, it's been fucking what three months? I think. Years. Yes, it's been 84 years. Uh, Jams is finally back. He finally rebooted his system. He we uh sent him away to uh <laughs> to get his system rebooted because he 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 got uh, slightly good at video games again. So yeah, we had to yeah. reset that. So he's bad. He's bad now again. Um. <laughs> so you think? <laughs> it's what I know. <laughs> See when they. The place you sent me to, they, 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 they knew who you are. They're like, hey, you know that Brillu fuck, right? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And they said, well, you need to kick his ass. <laughs> uh, I call it bullshit. So, you can just hang out here, we're not going to do anything to you. And then you can go back there, and you shove your foot through his ass. <laughs> Um, I call bullshit since uh, no one knows who I am, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't make um, me say your real name out here. <laughs> that is my real name. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, His real name starts with an A, everyone. Yeah. It's A Brilu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're back. We finally. Oh god, um, finally got back to watching Riverdale. It was it was a nice break, but then we we both had to sit back and fucking watch the shitty show again, which I was not <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, I gotta watch this shit again, and not, and like, I think I forgot almost everything <laughs> in the Riverdale. <laughs> What I just watched, I just had a complete mind blank after I watched it. I was like, what What did I just watch? I thought I got abducted like, like, uh, what's his name? Like Jughead. Just woke up yeah. in the middle of the street. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Yeah, what I happened? know. I know. <laughs> but then it did a decent recap at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, so yeah, it has that whole recap in the beginning, which, God, it's been so long. And like the uh, first, I, the like, first thing I saw in the recap. So we're like nine episodes behind, I know, but that's just how it is. Actually, we're not that far behind. I think it is nine episodes or so. Because no, I think no, it was no, like no, 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 no. There's only been a handful of episodes. No, there hasn't. <laughs> yes. I'm looking. I'm looking at this right now. Okay? I think it's up to at least. You no, know, sixteen at least. I think episode sixteen or so. Okay. I could be wrong with that, but I guess So it's he's... like um... He's fiercely checking. He's fact checking me. So they were yeah. only about we've seen the most like the one we watched the other day. Yeah. You mean episode after one? That, yes. Yeah, there's like five more after that that we've missed. It's really not that much. Yeah, so there's six in total. Yeah, so we're five. Six in total. We're five behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. <laughs> I guess okay. so. We could have been on to on topic. <laughs> not topic. We could have been on time. Up to date. And then everyone would have loved us. But now everyone hates. Hates us. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, um, the, f the first thing I saw in the recap uh, was Chad. Was <laughs> Chad? I didn't, I didn't even watch and the recap, which I should have. I completely... <laughs> <laughs> Blank, didn't you? No, like, I saw it, and then I was like, recap? I don't need a recap. I already know this shit. I've already seen it. And then, like, I started watching. <laughs> literally, the first scene, I'm like, wait, what happened again? I was like, oh, shit, I should have watched the recap. I'm dumb. Is this how you do? Is this how you write a fucking test? You, That's how I do everything. You skip. Life. You skip the studying, and you're like, "Oh, I can do the test." Yeah. And I'm like, the study. Test what's is up? put in front of you, and you're like, "Fuck! I should have studied." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, "All right, I'm here, I'm here to do algebra," and then and then all of a sudden, it's like they give me the test, and it's like a Spanish test or something. I'm like, <laughs> <Yeah>. "What? <laughs> the 
fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, man. But yeah, so um, the recap happens, and I guess to recap, they. God, no, I really did forget what happened. <laughs> um, was it Veronica and Chad? Chad, um, was it traps her in this loan shark thing because he owns, he has a lot of debt or something. And, and, and if they divorce, she'll get all his debt or something like that. Something stupid like that. So she has to still be married to him. Um, Jughead gets fucking kidnapped. Or something happens to him, right? He disappears from the bunker. Mm -hmm. When Tabitha returns. Um, there was that whole shit with Betty, which was fucking bonkers. <laughs> with her with her brother and the... And I guess his boyfriend oh, yeah. or whatever. Oh yeah, that guy. And then <laughs> there was some shit with Archie. <laughs> and that guy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. Anyway, so like, the school's trashed, and they're oh, like, "Oh right, yeah, that happened too." Oh, uh, uh, they're, they're like, "Uh, well, we need to go to online learning," and I'm thinking, "Uh, to learn what? This doesn't sound like you've taught anything in this school." <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that scene, and I was like, "Online learning? Wait, what? Is COVID happening in this universe too?" <laughs> No, it's because the school has been trashed that, like, so bad that no one can go to school, apparently. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's just, like, outside of COVID, I've never heard of online school. Unless I you're, know. like, taking it international or something. That's... That's the level of writing on this show. Yeah. I mean, I guess there was... Okay. There was online school, but, like, it wasn't as... It wasn't as, like, commonplace <laughs> as it is now. <laughs> yeah. You know, obviously due, due to COVID. Um... God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, so that happened. They're in the school, yeah. right? <laughs> and then, yeah. And then Veronica gets home, and she gets this opal rock thing. Oh yeah. I was like, what the it fuck? It literally looks like a piece of fucking vibranium. <laughs> yeah. It's like some, it's like some fucking Avengers shit. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> she gets like a fucking. I don't know, like 15... <laughs> a rock from like 15,000 years ago. In like Next an Amazon you know, package. Next thing you know, she's gonna make, take this stone and build a suit of armor with it. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't think that's going to happen, you're wrong. <laughs> it's because build that's just armor. the type of curveball this show would throw at us. She's gonna build a because suit of armor and then fight her dad, which he's gonna turn into Thanos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, because her idea, I guess, is because she still owns the jewelry store, I guess. So her idea is to, like, sell that fucking rock, which is, I guess, a lot of money for some reason. Um, and then, obviously, you know pay off her debt or whatever and then divorce the husband the whole th the whole thing is just I want to divorce him so I'm gonna fucking literally do everything I can and then yeah. Chad's whole thing is I'm gonna do everything I can to not make you divorce me <laughs> yeah by, by literally having debt but I'm gonna do it with my shirt off <laughs> and like why wait Chad with his shirt off yeah the, 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 that? the first scene is like you're not divorcing me, babe. And he has like his shirt off, and he's wearing like pajama pants. And I'm like, fuck this show. I'm tired of this. Okay. <laughs> if you want to cater this show to teen girls, come out and fucking say it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they are. Or at least, t yeah, but tone it down. <laughs> there are people here that are doing podcasts talking about how shitty it is. Okay. That's why we're talking about how shitty. <laughs> Yeah. Because of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Oh, man. I, I was like, yeah, I forgot how stupid the show was, and then I started watching it, and I was like, oh, yeah. You know, I, I read, or maybe it was you that told me this, that even the cast knows 
how ridiculous this this plot is. Oh yeah, no, and, yeah, it was it was uh, Veronica and, or whatever her name, uh, the yeah, actress is. <laughs> Camilla, Camilla Mendez. Yeah. And and I'm thinking, well, that's it. <laughs> that's that's the reason. Now I know the reason they're all on here. Yeah. It, it, it's money. <laughs> it's confirmed. They're probably they're probably paid a lot of money because because uh, the the writers are monkeys. <laughs> they are. I've seen I've seen no evidence that uh, contradicts what I just said. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't think humans are writing this show. I think it's monkeys. That yeah. makes total sense. Total sense. And so they have all that leftover money, and they just give the cast more money. Uh, yeah. I, okay. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> and and they shoot at, like, what? Fucking three locations? It's not very expensive. So there's more money. <laughs> there's more money going to the cast members, okay? <laughs> well, no, there. it's just not money taken. It, like, it's not I mean, expensed. I mean, cost like... Or whatever. Maybe that's it. Maybe these cast members have demanded more money... So they uh, write even less <laughs> and shoot at less locations in order to pay these people. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it would explain. No, it would explain why this show is so bad. <laughs> yeah. But I find that I and I can't believe I'm going to say this. I find this show more interesting than The Flash right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just because it's stupid. It's so stupid. You're like, okay. Yeah, but at least this is interesting. Yeah, because it's like, yeah. The Flash puts me to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, I have. I still haven't even watched the newest seasons at all. And for all you viewers out there that disagree, <laughs> you're <Awesome>. wrong. <laughs> yeah. You're wrong. That's because this one's like, show sucks, but at least it's so stupid that if it's you, like... Viewers are there being like, oh, I don't like, I don't like this, this Jams guy. He's saying bad things about The Flash. Well, I have, a, I have something to tell you, okay? <laughs> you explain to me why in the season finale, Eric Wallace decided it was a good idea to write in that The Flash, Reverse Flash, and Godspeed have a lightsaber fight with lightning bolts. You tell me in what comic book that happens in. Because I'd like to know. Uh, it happens in the DC Star Wars crossover. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but yeah, but um, like Riverdale is just like... It's so bad, but it's like, it's funny, so it's like, well, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> That's why you exactly. watch it, but yeah. So what happened next? Um, Archie and Veronica are talking, and Archie basically just friend zones Veronica. He's like, I'm not gonna have sex with you un until you're divorced. Oh, yeah. And I'm, yeah, like, just, yeah. And I'm like, brah. I'm like, brah. I get that. <laughs> He's the real Chad there. Yeah. He's he's Wait. Chad zoning her. He's Chad. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but wouldn't a Chad sleep with her anyway? Uh, maybe. No, he's 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 a Sigma. He's Sigma he's zoning a... her. He, or, or 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 is he a simp? <laughs> no. No, a simp no. would just. I don't even know what a simp would do. I don't know. A. S a simp would just compliment her. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I thought that was really funny. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then, okay. It's one weird, weird scene after this. Cheryl's mom walks into the house. Oh, yeah. And explains that their house is going to be a church. Oh, right. Was it their whole house? Cause, like I, I, no, I know the scene's like later. Section. There's like one section. Okay. Of their house that's being turned. But their house is a church now. Because I guess I wasn't paying attention to that part. Because I came back to later, and they're they're you know obviously yeah. we'll get to it later. But like they have the that whole thing, and I was like, wait, what's happening? They're like, she's like, 
going to turn this house into a ministry. And I'm like, uh, lady, uh, I'm no expert on this show, but I believe before you went to jail, you were a pimp. <laughs> and now you suddenly want to be a pastor. That's an odd career change. <laughs> Wasn't she a pimp and a prostitute? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Who I mean, knows I guess at this point. I guess you could. I, don't I, don't know, I guess you could turn your life around. Why? Why don't I remember? Because I have rad. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We all have rad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Oprah. You have rad, and you have rad. <laughs> <laughs> we all have rad. Okay. So, uh, that was weird. Yeah. Because, like, isn't there a reason that she wants to see, like, her her son again or some bullshit? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. And I was like, alright. So that was... Oh, and then, uh... It, Betty's sitting in a truck, eating smart food popcorn. Oh so yeah. So that was uh, product placement. Yeah, I um, saw that. I was like, oh, okay. Product placement. Even even the worst show on the planet has to do that. <laughs> yeah. They got to make money somehow. <laughs> it's it's such an odd uh, product placement. You like, and you're gonna be eating your smart Random. food <laughs> popcorn. Yeah. Which is kind of funny, because I always thought it was, like, healthy. Or than, like, chips yeah. or something. But, like, no. It's just not. <laughs> but it just has, like, because yeah. it just has, like, the name Smart in it. You're like, Smart Food, and that looks kind of healthy. But it's like, no. Um, yeah. That, <laughs> that was one of those scenes where I'm like... Um, I kind of wish I had looked at the, uh... <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Like the preview or the what's it called? Recap. Yeah, the recap thing. Mm, yeah. Cause I was like, I was like, wait, I was like, uh, like there's so many scenes. There's a lot of scenes where I was like, oh yeah, wait, yeah, I forgot. She's like a trucker now. Or something. <laughs> she's yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. she's not. She's not a trucker, but she's gonna like, um, what's it called? Uh, stake out the truck or community or whatever. Exactly. And then Tabitha Tate phones her, says Jughead's missing. Right. And she Tate is at the diner and she gets robbed until someone knocks the guy out. Right, no, she's yeah, she's she as soon as she hangs up the phone. She does something or whatever, and then literally like a second later, like this dude comes in and like robs her. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And then like, oh, it was Cheryl's mom comes into the fucking thing, into the oh, yeah. into the Tate store, and then like, the robber like turns around completely, and then t that gives enough time for Tabitha to like hit him in the back of All the right, head with right, something. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we that was another thing. This thing, mom. that is not the first, or that is not. The last like robbery in this whole fucking show. There's like eight different robberies. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then well, we'll get to that later, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> um, what happens after that? Uh... Um, Archie and Keller are interrogating the guy. Being a dick, whatever. Oh yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, and then Veronica is at her jewelry shop that she runs in Riverdale. Had no idea that she ran one in Riverdale. Yeah, she did, don't you remember? Um, and then that that guy from that season and his mom? Question mark. Do yeah, I think it's people? his mom. I forgot their names. They, but they because look like they're the same. They look like they're the same fucking age. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. They both look like and fucking crackheads. You know what? Let me just tell you something. They were annoying then, and uh, I guess it's a good thing nothing's changed because they're annoying now. Yeah, I think it was from the same season. 
as this one. But it was just it was before the time skip. Oh, okay. Remember yeah, they like maybe. Or at the very most last season, at the near the end of the season. Yeah, I, th I think it was this season, because remember they had the, um, uh, what's it called thing? Yeah. I don't know. Um, so they rob, uh, they rob Veronica, and then, uh, Hiram and Governor Dooley are saying that there's a reward for the anyone who can round up the prisoners who escaped. Right, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> that's one thing that I wish I had watched the... No, even if I did... No, I did remember that they, they had like a prison break thing. But I didn't put the two and two together that all these prisoners are out now. Right. And that's why there's that's why there's like a whole bunch of robberies happening happening <laughs> at like all these places. Um, but yeah, no, no, I was gonna say um, I think the uh, what's it called? Um, I'm pretty sure it was, it was in the beginning of the season because remember they had like some sort of thing. Yeah. Like before the before the time skip or whatever, and then Archie right. had, had to like stop him. Yeah, but I, I completely forgot those characters when they brought them back, and I was like, who are these? And they're like, you! And I was like, who? <laughs> I don't know these people at all. But yeah, like, because, uh, yeah, so Hiram is like doing that, um, a bounty or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like, Hiram, which is kind of funny, because Hiram let them go, and then he's like, I'm gonna yeah, I get a bounty <laughs> to yeah. get them back, but I guess that was his plan, I don't know, all along, which doesn't make sense. Yeah. But, because he's so losing then, money, but I guess it makes him look like the good guy. And then Archie, Archie and Archie's his... like, I'm gonna, I'll fucking take up the offer, even though I don't like him. It's free money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you mean I can get paid to be Batman now? No way. Yeah, which is funny because he makes a Batman reference later on in the episode. Yeah, I know. It's, and it's stupid as fuck. Because <laughs> I think the writers did that on purpose. Because like, you because, know, cause you know how like the whole joke was like, oh, he's Batman, right? He's like, of like previous seasons where he's like fighting bad guys, right? Oh yeah. And then they're like, hey, why don't we insert another Batman reference? Because we can't do it in any of the Arrowverse shows. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's throw in a so Batman we may reference as well, for some reason. We may, as well, we may as well reference Batman in a show that doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, let's just reference Batman for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, he sees Hiram about that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Governor Dooley and Hiram are talking about the Palladium. Uh... You Yes, yeah, yeah, I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah, well, too. basically Hiram wants to keep it all for himself, so... Yeah. He's not telling Dooley about anything. Yeah. Yeah, he's got, like, ulterior motives. He said he's working with... I guess he's the governor? Yeah, governor Okay. Dooley, yeah. yeah, and so he's, like, cut a deal with him. So they're gonna split the Palladium, which I forgot that that was a thing, too. Yeah. They have another secret vibranium fucking secret mystery element. And it's underneath yeah. it's underneath the jail. Which yeah. is why he built the jail there or whatever reason. And then he which doesn't make sense to uh, now that I think about it. Why would you why would you go through all the trouble building a jail just so you can you know, stick it from underneath or take it from underneath or whatever. Dig up the palladium and then build the prison around it so no one will notice that you digged up there. Yeah. Well, I guess but the prisoners no, that, are... That's... That's... That, that's... Thought. <laughs> well, I guess the prisoners... Right for this show don't think. <laughs> well, I guess I, I guess I just thought... I guess the prisoners are the ones digging up the Palladium. So I guess that would make sense. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. But even then... They wouldn't say anything like that because that's... That's too normal. That's too normal. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, Betty and Tabitha decide to look for Jughead together. Yep. Um, They're gonna do it as the girl squad. 
Then, then, uh, Sheriff Killer gets knocked out by that fucking annoying woman again. Uh, isn't that a little bit later or no? In, no, it's literally the, ne the next scene. Is it? Which is, which is weird. Like, you have this short scene with Tabitha and Betty, and they're like, oh, let's go look for Jughead. Yeah. Wouldn't you show the scene for them going to the bunker next? And then Maybe. do a scene change? But no. No, 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 no. They had to completely change the scene to the hospital, to the guy sitting in a hospital bed, and Sheriff Keller getting his fucking teeth knocked out. Yeah. No, for some reason I thought that was later, but I guess maybe yes. not. Because, uh, cause, yeah, so they have that the first guy that was robbing yeah. the Tabitha's place in the hospital, and they have him there. And mm -hmm. then, um, uh, I forgot who it was, but yeah, um, that guy, the sheriff and someone else were there. And then the sheriff comes back, and there's like a nurse there, but it's like that first lady that was, uh, it's that lady that robbed Veronica with the the, mo the mother son duo thing, but it's only her there. And then somehow she gets the upper hand and punches him out. <laughs> yeah. Like a scrawny meth meth head. <laughs> like somehow punched the shit out of like um, uh, you know a sheriff <laughs> and like knocked him out cold. <laughs> I thought that exactly. was kind of funny. Yeah, so they're down in the bunker. Mm -hmm. They're finding... They're trying to find out... Trying to find out... Yeah, they're trying to find went. some clues or whatever for uh, Jughead. Yeah, and then yeah, I sure think was... they... Betty's like, here, let's... Because like, there's still the script, I guess, right? Yeah. The manuscript. And he's like, here, let's read this, see if there's any clues in here where he went next or whatever. Yeah. And then it shows Jughead homeless. Yeah, this part was weird. Because, like, it, it <laughs> yeah, cuts this, directly. This... It cuts directly into that. And I'm like, wait, what? I thought, like. <laughs> I thought it was, like, maybe not a dream, but, like, I thought it was, like, a re not a reenactment. I thought it was, like, them reading it and, like, him being in the story, but, like, it wasn't actually, like, real life, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, yeah no. but then it is real life. <laughs> so it just cuts the jug head and they're like, okay, well, well he's alive. He's not kidnapped by an alien or something. Or maybe he was, but then he got dropped into a homeless place somewhere. Yeah, and then he runs into, like, businessmen who beat the shit out of him. Yeah, he's, like, no, just sitting. No reason at all. <laughs> I know! That probably made him laugh out loud. <laughs> he's sitting there doing that all, like, uh... Because I guess it's at night and he's like keeping his hands warm in front of like a yeah. fire dumpster fire, and then like these yeah. these oh, old like this these old businessmen come out of nowhere like out of like I guess the, there's a business in front of them, and they come out and they're just like trying to give him money and then he's just like nah, and then they just like start beating him <laughs> they start beating the shit out of him for no reason. They're just like oh. This is like this scene is like breaking the fourth wall to me because he's warming his hands up around a dumpster fire and this show is a dumpster fire <laughs> so he's literally warming himself up with the plot of this show with the plot of this show <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was, just, it was so the weird they just run over and they start like be literally beating the shit out I'm like what? do businessmen just do this? they just run over and do people do this? they just beat the shit out of homeless people for no reason? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's so weird. According to Riverdale, I guess they do. Yeah. And then he gets um, like knocked out on conscience, and then there's like, do they go away? I think they go away, and then like, there's like some weird like creepy figure in the background. I'm like, oh, is he gonna get like butt fucked or something? <laughs> is this his story of getting raped? <laughs> or some bullshit? Um. I don't know. And then I think it goes to like a different scene after that, right? Like it doesn't continue that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he would get. I don't think. Yeah. No, I don't think so. But like I mean, anyone can beat the shit out of this guy, and like 
Yeah, no. I don't think they're even allowed. They, they wouldn't even be allowed to show something like that. Oh, well, no, they're not going to show it, obviously. <laughs> No, they're, they're, just gonna, gonna it, they're just gonna they're just gonna full frontal s- fucking <laughs> butt sex <laughs> for like twenty minutes. They're like, no, now it's a porno. Yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> they're like, it was a horror movie. It was a stupid comedy. It was a teenage, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> Drama yeah, I mean, or whatever, but now it's it really porno. wouldn't. I, I wouldn't put past him to turn this into a porno. <laughs> really? Yeah, maybe. Um. Because haven't they shown people like fucking like killing themselves in this show too? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's so knives like, and shit, and people are shooting each other with guns. They've shown some fucked up shit in this show. Yeah. So That's what is, I mean, so it's not out of the... Is like, porn really out of the question? <laughs> no. <laughs> not if you're talking to me. <laughs> um, yeah, what else happens after that? Betty and Tabitha talked to his ex because he took shrooms or magic maple shrooms or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, so there's like that Asian girl that you completely forgot in the middle of the. Yeah. <laughs> of this whole craziness. So yeah. she, like, they call her, I guess, because she used to. You know, obviously they used to date or whatever, and it's like, maybe she knows, and then... So they call her on the cell, and then like... Uh, it basically turns into... Uh... Yeah, he calls her from Jughead's cell, I guess, because his cell phone's still there. And then, yeah. um... Oh no, is he... Wait... Does he not have his cell phone? He Wait, how did she... Cause I think he has it. Cause like near the end, he has it. He has a cell phone. What do you, What do you mean? Like just a homeless? The homeless guy gave him his cell phone. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I I do remember he has a cell phone at the end. Mm-hmm. Cause he like calls back, and leaves like a voice message. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, like somehow they get her. He gets the uh, phone, or they get the, her phone call, or the phone. They get the girl, the ex-girlfriend's phone number. They call him, and then they basically ends up like the girl is like, "I'm gonna come, I'll come to Riverdale. I can help." And they're like, "Oh no, shit!" They're like, "Shit, no, it's fine." Mm-hmm. But then like yeah. she just ends up coming, I guess. I guess it's like Riverdale is just super fucking close to New York. It's like two hours away or something. <laughs> like, it's within driving distance, I guess. It's with it's it's within a couple hours. Basically, yeah. Of New York. I guess. But no one wants to go to the shitty Riverdale, like, <laughs> small town of like less than two thousand people. Yeah, because it's a shithole. <laughs> um. Anyway, they. I just realized that like. Tabitha, when she's not her, in her work uniform, she actually looks pretty attractive. You just realized like, that? I've been saying that like no, this no, whole no, time. No, 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 no. They like they've they pretty much shown her at the diner for almost all of her scenes. Yeah, I know. Almost. And so yeah. I don't know why I didn't realize it before. Maybe it's been a while since I've seen this show. That's I think it's, I think it's just been a while because I'm like, yeah. yeah, she's she's been hot, dude. And I'm like. Even like, in the uniform, I'm like, damn, I'm yeah, thinking about this, and I'm like, Jughead, why didn't you g- go after that? Like, remember he oh, did? No, or the, I guess the, 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 the Mothman's more important. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> Look, Mothman before hoes, okay. You would rather chase after a Mothman than chase like, after a girl. 
Moss rose before hose. Logical. Okay. Look. I don't look. even think there's a sexuality for this. Moth bros before hose. Uh, mows before hose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, cause I've, I've been saying this. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, she's fucking hot, even in the uniform. True. I would want to see her in the uniform. All the time. <laughs> like, you're dating me, you had to be in the uniform. <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh. Seen after this, this one's something fucking special because it's the church service where, oh, yeah, um, where her Cheryl's mom is talking and she's talking about drinking the sweet juice from the chalice. And I got this juice from my son, and, I, and at this point, I said, What? <laughs> what son juice? Um, Isn't at that... this moment, at this moment, the lights went off in my brain. <laughs> oh. And one, I thought you were going to say you threw up One side of my brain said to the other, Hey, it's dark in here. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like... I felt a little bit of throw up in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, yeah, so that part was weird. And then Cheryl's like... This is like the pinnacle of bad writing. This is yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, so uh, you, you're his mom, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're Cheryl's mom, and you're gonna drink your son's blood. At what point, at what point do you act that out? Without saying, uh, what the fuck? I don't think it's the... It's not his blood, it's obviously like the maple syrup bullshit or whatever that they have. But they're making it sound like it's his blood. Yeah. Well, I thought it was gonna be Jesus, cause like, you know, obviously it's like Christian or whatever. But then, yeah, she was like, my <laughs> and son. Then and I was they like, throw what? Throw you a curveball again. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? And then like, I mean, the the writing gets worse, cause like that's not even the worst part. Like, so, cause Cheryl's like, <laughs> you know, Cheryl's like, what the fuck's happening? And then she's like, what's the angle, right? And then, like, at the end of, like, the kind of, like, service, I guess, right? She comes around, you know, like, the church. I don't know if you've ever been to church. But they, they come around at the end and they ask for, like, uh, donations or whatever. And that's what she was doing at the end with, like, a basket. And then uh, her mom gives a look to Cheryl. And then Cheryl's like, ah, that's what this is really about. Right? Money for the fucking... For them. Yeah. Because they don't... They're not, I guess they're not making any money anymore from the fucking... Uh, maple syrup, even though they still have half their acres or, or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Because like half of it burned down or whatever. Correct. But then, like, yeah. <laughs> so that, that was kind of funny. Yeah. Exactly. But then I was just like, um, wait, what? Like, to me, I'm, I'm like, this, this is, yeah. This just seems like a really inefficient way of making money. Because, like, one, it didn't seem like that many people in there. Two, it's like, based off donations, so it's like, you know, you're not guaranteed people to give you money. And, it, like, I don't know, like, it just, I'm like, you could get way more money just work, literally working a regular job, I feel like. Or, like, literally doing anything else. You could prostitute and probably get more money, too. But I guess you'll just do it this way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I just feel like... You'll get like, what, $50 at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It don't just know. seems weird to me, but... It's just like, we're, we'll have this church, and the Lord will provide for us financially. And that's fucking crazy. Yeah, it just... It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. Maybe she's I guess. one of those people... Maybe she's one of those people who thinks that the Earth was created in seven days. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, and it's only six thousand years old, or whatever it is. <laughs> maybe she thinks that when it comes to evolution, the jury's still out. <laughs> yeah. However, Look, it's not confirmed. Uh, in my in my scientific opinion, evolution. Is a tiny thread on the 
tapestry I like to call reality. <laughs> Something this show knows not of. Yeah. No, I think the writers. I think the writers just like, like, well, well, <laughs> they like no idea what the fuck <laughs> they were doing, as as per usual. They're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. I guess she'll just make money doing this. Like, all right, I guess it's fine too. Um, and then they bust the, they bust the, uh, um, the convicts, the Reggie. Right. And they find out that the, uh, the guy that stole the opal, is, like, literally just left, like, a millisecond before they got there. Right, cause, uh, so yeah, yeah. so yeah, uh, Archie and them... They get they get a list right <laughs> earlier from Hiram to like yeah. get the get the people yeah. and they're gonna and they're gonna like uh, stop these people or whatever or I guess capture them for their money. Correct. But then also earlier I think Veronica asked Reggie for help. Yes. In uh to get the opal back because she needs it to pay for the thing, and then he like agrees to get it back or whatever. And then yeah, so they. Uh, cause yeah, it cuts to like the gangs or whatever, and then it's that the son of the mother son duo. He like leaves to go, I guess, pee or whatever. And then right. he's like, I'll be back. And then like right when he leaves, like Archie like comes in. He's like, put your fucking hands up. And then like, <laughs> and they they fucking do the whole um like Supergirl thing, right? Where like you 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 know that one season where they're like, we can't have guns, we can't. <laughs> We can't have stuff that, or we can't have like lethal uh, weapons, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just have tasers and not like, fucking not nothing like else. that stopped them before. Yeah. yeah. And then so Archie oh, has that really nice. You mean that season of Supergirl where they decided to make the entire season plot about gun control and racism? Yeah, basically. And, and then it was the most woke show I've ever seen, and yeah. it was uh, uh, awful. Yes, so, I remember. So fucking Archie takes a Archie takes a, a page out of the book, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, we yeah, can't have guns. any guns or anything. So uh, just hey, get your zip ties and like, like I don't even I don't even know if they Tasers. even have a teaser. I guess they do. Yes, they do. So yeah. they come in and they're like, huh. We'll get you now, and then the fucking bad guys, the goons are just like, they just whip out their guns. <laughs> they're like, it looks yeah. like you brought fucking tasers to a gunfight, bro. <laughs> and then they're like, oh shit. And then like, literally like, uh, Reggie comes from behind with a gun and is like, to the guy's head, he's like, put it down, and they're like, oh shit, alright. It's, it's just so stupid. Yeah, so like, they literally get saved because of fucking Reggie, so I'm like, okay. Like, yeah, I know, it's like, they didn't have a plan B. <laughs> They're just like, we're gonna come in there, hopefully they don't have guns. We didn't even think about that. Because I'm pretty sure these criminals will be law-abiding citizens who won't have any weapons on them at all. <laughs> it's just... It's so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then uh, yeah, they interrogate one of them. They let they let them know that that one guy escaped, and they're like, "Oh shit! All right." And then they, uh, I guess that's it, right? With that scene. Yeah, and then Jughead waking up with like injuries and be like, "Ah, oh, like <laughs> talking to some other homeless guy named Doc that he remembered from." Being in private school or something. No, this is from like before when he was like, like a kid or something. He, yeah, he remembers yeah, dog. I mean. Yeah. From private school, like from the snooty academy shit. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that was that. Cause he's like, oh, you should just sleep here. And get better. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he remembers the doc guy from the previous time where like he also just got randomly beat up, but then because he was super young, he didn't help him. Yeah. Um. Um. And then. And then so he feels guilty of that, and then he he, he lies and says his name is like Harold Henry. or some bullshit. Henry. Yeah, Henry. And then like, 
Um, Why the fuck did I remember that? Yeah, I don't know how you remember that. I, didn't even, I was like, I knew it started with an H, I just couldn't remember <laughs> exactly um, what the fuck it was. Yeah. Anyway, Pyro's getting blackmailed for the Palladium. For the Palladium? Yeah, because, like, that thug guy is like, I want the Palladium or you're dead. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So this is. C continuing the scenes of breaking in and like just yeah. robbing and stuff. This guy like goes, who like worked, you know, obviously at Hiram's prison, goes to Hiram <laughs> and he has like a spiked bat, like a fucking Harley Quinn bat. Or like and that he... guy in like from The Walking Dead, right? Yeah, I guess so. Just like a spiked up bat. And he's just like. Threatening him, he's like, I'll kill you if you, you gotta get me the Palladium or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's kind of, I guess, cool. Like a med medicine... What's it called? Uh... Like, 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 a... He, he, he got a shot of his own medicine. I was like, trying to remember what the fuck that phrase... was called. Got a taste, taste of his own Yeah, taste, his, taste of his own medicine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, that's kind of uh... funny. And then Jughead's uh, hot ex shows up. Yeah. I mean, they're all and hot, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, she she shows up, and then they're they like all, go, all working like, together. Yeah, they're all working together. And then, and then I knew that like I'm like okay yeah this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Something's up. She's gonna like. I knew like as soon as she was coming that like something weird is hey, hey, well, shit well, is gonna happen. Scene yet, okay. No, I know, but like I knew, yeah. so, like I knew that she was oh, she's bad news. Of course, something's up. Yeah. Because whenever she shows up, it's a little weird. Well, no, I just um, knew because I'm like she's like, like a, just scene, a sketchy character. There's a scene with Cheryl and her mother, and I have no idea what was said in that scene. Yeah, that's the scene where she's like, "I, what are you really doing, mother? I know what you're up to. You're trying to get money," and then she's just like, "I don't you want to see?" Your brother again, or some bullshit? And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know where the show yeah, is going. And this is that's weird. that's the that's the part where I was like, I don't know how the church to get money makes the most sense to get them to get money. So I feel like you wouldn't get that much money at all, but that's just me. <laughs> um, you know what happens after that? And then they're all at El Royale with Hiram. Governor Dooley and the sheriff. Right. So like the son and the the son and mother duo, and then like that other guy, gangster. Yeah, on the phone with Veronica. She goes to Archie. Yeah. No, but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but so so like I said, the the mother son duo, and then that other gangster. They have. Who is it? Like they have those three guys tied up. The the governor. Uh, Veronica's dad, and then the sheriff tied up, and they're, and then yeah, and then they call the daughter, right? Or no, yeah, they they, they basically they want to get the palladium, but then he's like, I'm never telling. Uh, and then like he calls her daughter, um, to like you know obviously blackmail or whatever. Yeah. For the thing. And then they're like, then... what the fuck? They find out that the Palladium's in his private safe. Yeah. And they... Because <laughs> Reggie's they like named, helping them and then... They... They uh, name-dropped Lex Luthor. Did they? They name-dropped Lex Luthor. They're like... Someone said... One one of them in the, in the scene said, Well, this is it. Your dad's officially Lex Luthor. Oh. And I'm like, hoo 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 ha ha ha, that's so funny. <laughs> like, oh, I had no idea, I must have missed that scene. It was stupid. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no doubt. And then we go back to Jughead's ex, Tabitha and Betty, still looking for Jughead. Yeah. She's like, hey, uh, shouldn't we, uh, you know, Jughead did these shrooms, maybe we should all do them. Might yeah. help. And I'm I was like, like hey, uh, what? You shouldn't have said that. Yeah. That no, they, makes no sense. Uh, what was it? They, they first... They go somewhere else, and then, then they go to Jughead's house, I guess. And then she's frantically looking yeah. around for stuff. And then they go... 
like something's off about her, right? She's like frantically looking for whatever. She's not like really look. She's not really looking for him, I guess. It, it comes. Yeah. It becomes apparent, like, because she's looking in drawers and shit and like all that, fu- all that shit. And then um, they go to the bunker, and then that's when she's like, "He was high, so it's so let's all take shrooms too. Maybe we can be in the same state of mind." And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. And then like, because aren't to, aren't and you then, all in the same state of mind right now? <laughs> uh, actually, having a mind. <laughs> and then t- to my, uh, what's it called? Like, to to, to my happiness. <laughs> to, like yeah. I was glad that the two girls are like, this is fucking weird. Like no, <laughs> they're like, I don't know what yeah. she's up to. We should like not do anything. And I was like, okay, okay. At least they're kind of like, they aren't they aren't just like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> And then, but then, like, they decide to go to Tate's, or she's gonna go back to, she's like, I'm gonna go back to New York, the uh, Jughead's ex-girlfriend, the Asian, and then, like, they're like, okay, yeah, that'd that'd be good. I'm gonna buy you all food. Yeah, and I was like, oh, God. God. I already knew, (laughs) I already knew, I'm like, she's gonna, like, she's she's gonna expect their food. Like, I knew that immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then like they're like yeah okay and I was like oh god you're fucking you're done for and then they like and then they go off to do that thing and then uh and then the next scene is Jughead still recuperating from his injuries blah 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 right um and then it's back to Archie and the gang and the blackmail thing yeah um yeah. So the, yeah. So those three guys are being held captive. The Reggie, who works for Veronica's dad, he knows that. Like, we forgot to set it up, but he knows the because he works for him. Like where he kept the palladium, yeah. which I guess it's only like a little bit of palladium because because they they go to the like the vault, right? The vault I guess that's where small. you're getting to. Yeah, it's like a small ass. I'm like, okay, I guess it's only like ten grams or whatever. It's like one rock or whatever of it. Yeah. Like I don't know how much is how much that's worth, I guess. Um and then yeah, so they, they yeah, it's in his office and then they're like they have tools and then they're like I forgot what else happens, but they they basically cut the entire vault out of the place that it's in, his 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 house. Yeah. So they discuss that, well, we can't come in through the entrance, and so Archie says, well, there's a skylight, so we'll, uh, swoop down like Batman. And I'm oh, like, right. uh, yeah, you yeah, no, shouldn't no. have said that. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, before that, so, like, they have the vault, and then they're like, okay, we have the vault, but we don't have the combo code, because only her dad knows it, right? So they're like, okay... So, so they make a deal with the, um, what's it called, the gangsters or whatever, but then they're like, only you can come, Veronica. We, like, no one else will come or, or we'll kill them, and then like, ah, oh, shit. And then, like, Archie's like, no, don't do it, and then Veronica's like, alright, I guess I'll do it. And then they, then, then, yeah, that's, they come up with a plan to do it, and I'm like, okay, well, what's the plan gonna be? Well, what's the <laughs> smartest plan that they're gonna fucking do? And then they, like, <laughs> they're like, well, we can't go anywhere, and then, like, well, and then Archie's like, well, actually, I, like, fucking doing renos and I made like a skylight so <laughs> we're gonna like come in like Batman and I was like what <laughs> I know that I know that that was like the joke is that like you're Batman or whatever because you're fighting crime sure but like really <laughs> no did you have to like fucking actually say it <laughs> you weirdo of course god it was so dumb and then of course so the, dumb. and of course like that was like and like the same thing with with the with the other plan that they have, that's about as far as they go with the plan. Like, what if they had guns too, or other things, or just worse? Like, well, like what's your plan? You're just gonna repel in and get shot immediately? <laughs> yeah. Just just come jumping down, ha! Huh, like hero pose, and then just fucking get shot. Because you know you guys don't have guns or anything either. Oh, it was so funny. Yeah. And then, uh, is that is that when they pull off the plan next, or no? Yeah, they... The next scene... I think it is that. Yeah. 
Oh no, it's uh, Cheryl with Jason's skeleton shit thing. Oh yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. So it's just it's just going back again to Cheryl's being crazy again, I guess, because they're like, we have to include yeah. Cheryl. Cheryl always has to have her own side story, whatever fucking shit that no one gives a fuck about. So let's keep making her crazy. And then... So like... Cause, then, cause, Cause in the previous episodes... Or the previous seasons, right? She had... Well, one of the seasons, right? She had like... Her brother... Like, taxidermied, I guess? Yeah. He was like still alive, but he still had, like, flesh and all that shit. But then like... Mm -hmm. You just see her like walk up to this casket, I'm like... Oh, this like, uh... Yeah, I guess it's like a casket. Or whatever. What are those? Yeah. Is it? What are those things called? Where it's like people die and they get put in? Is it a casket? No. Yes, that's right. Okay, I, I keep. For some reason, the, I, the, I'm like, I'm like, I'm sure it's a different word, but whatever. Yeah. So she like opens it and then it's like a, a decomposed like just skeleton almost. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So he's just still there, Jason, his body, but it's just like fucking. It's actually just decomposing. It's de it's finally decomposed now. Yeah, until like a skeleton, uh, and she just has it. Yeah, unlike the version we saw a season ago. Yeah, I mean it's still fucked up. It's like what the what the fuck. Which makes sense because like there's a time jump in this season too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, seven seven years, right? Yeah. But like, still, it's like what the f like. God damn it! You gotta get over your fucking brother. <laughs> stop. Just stop, show What the fuck? Like, it's just so weird. Oh, I know. And then, uh, what else happens? And then the diner scene where they start to trip balls because his Jughead's ex sprinkled the fries with, uh, right. shrooms powder. Yep. <laughs> and it's exactly what I thought happened. Well, 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 it's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So she like, they come in with like fries, or they go to eat fries or whatever there. But it's like, just a little handful. And I was like... I thought I saw her too, like in the beginning of the scene, like put some shit. Yeah. Like sprinkle some shit, I'm like, I'm like, oh, she's gonna fucking just... You know... Uh, spike this shit with like some, some of those shrooms, you know. And then that's what she exactly did. So they start talking normal or whatever, I guess, and then... Um... At one point, like Tabitha's like, I feel. Don't you feel hot and weird? And then Ver I guess Betty starts feeling weird too. Yeah. And they're like, what? What the fuck did you do? And she's like, Oh, I'm really sorry. I put I spiked your fucking food. I put some mushrooms in there. And you I was like, what, like the what the fuck? And the audience said, What the fuck too? Yeah. Because that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for her. I was looking at her. Cause I'm like I'm like I wonder if she'll eat the fries. Cause I cause I, I was I, I was thinking she wasn't. Cause then she wouldn't get hit by it. But she she did eat some of the fries. So. Yeah. But I guess she's used to it, so she doesn't. She needs like more, I guess, to get trip ring or whatever. Yeah, and then so the entire scene is their trip. Plus, yeah. uh, Cheryl and her mom doing more yeah. fucked up shit. No, before that they go, they go to the bunker, again. Yeah. And then they're like while, talking, while and tripping. then. They, no, yeah, they're talking, and but they they're like, uh, the the Asian girl like is like, okay, I'm just gonna leave you here. You guys can have a safe trip or whatever. And then. I don't know. It's, it's revealed that like, uh, what's her name? That um. Uh, what's it called? They're like the whole reason she's there is to like get get the manuscript apparently. Yeah. She's like, uh, I don't want my family or my friends finding out if he's written about me. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Cause like, cause like he used to write about um her or whatever, right? Or like J Jughead in the previous thing wrote about. Betty and like the River old Riverdale relationship and the whole thing. So like she's like, I don't want yeah. that to happen to me. But I'm like, I'm like that's bullshit. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's probably just gonna sell it for money or something. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So 
so, so that was fucking shit. And then, yeah, and then she fucking leaves, and then they're... The, like, Betty's just like, because, I guess because she's high, she's like, okay, you can have it. <laughs> so she just fucking gives her the manuscript, and then they leave. And then, like, yeah, and then they have, like, this whole montage of just, like, tripping. Exactly. Which, it's, which is also interlaced with, um, yeah, like, the... Uh, like, I don't know, I, I guess they have to have a quota of, like, we have to have, we have to have singing <laughs> at least once per episode or some bullshit. I guess, yeah. And it's like, we need a musical, we need to sing, and then, so they all sing, and then, they're singing, and then Betty and, Betty and the Tabitha are just, like, doing weird high shit, going crazy. Mm -hmm. Up there, and then, what's her name? Cheryl and her mom are, like, doing the sermon shits together now, I guess, because she's... She's fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, um, Veronica shows up at El Real with the safe, and then the boys come through the skylight like the fucking A team. <laughs> yeah. She fucking distra she fucking distracts them and like, cause before like she's she's like I can, I can, I can distract them for a good thirty seconds, and then she like, so she like. <laughs> Comes in and she like that's literally like, at like at exactly thirty seconds she's like, okay it's been thirty seconds boys. <laughs> yeah. And then they, they like come in through the fucking ceiling like yeah fucking like SWAT team, and you're like what the fuck? Yeah. Even though they're not, they really don't have any weapons at all. Yeah. And I was like okay I guess they know how to do this. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Even though and they've then... only done it once before. I think Cheryl's still like singing that song, and then like, right. Jason appears in the church. Right. Yeah, that was weird. This is weird. Well, she's just like hallucinating or whatever. I guess we're seeing what sure, she wants yeah. to see, and then, and then yeah, they have they have the whole fight at the, at yeah, his gym or whatever. The, yeah. So they got got everyone back safe and sound. Yeah, and then they're all just, and then everyone just turns in. Everyone actually turns into Batman, and they all just. Fucking yeah. beating, the, beating the shit out of the gangsters and shit. Yeah, and then, um... After... Oh, I think the, the Ron... governor gets shot, right? Yeah, but he makes it. No, no, but he gets shot, like, <laughs> I guess, yeah. directly in the chest, but he fucking somehow makes yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, after the fight, Ronnie and Archie are at the diner, where he right. says, Yo, bitch, you're still friend-zoned. <laughs> yeah. Veronica's like, I guess... like, oh, I better get divorced as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm so sounds, wet. It sounds, so, sounds even more ridiculous when I say it. She's like, I'm so fucking wet, I need to get divorced now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but, but she got the visit. opal back, and then, yeah. yeah. So she's like, I could sell this now, finally. Yeah. That, 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 that 67-year-old living in his mom's basement needs it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whoever um, the fuck needs it, needs it. <laughs> yeah. Hiram visits Dooley in the hospital and says, Hey, bitch, the palladium's mine, you're not getting a fucking thing. Yeah. Okay? He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, I'm If you fucking want that shit. Does this he's sound like, good to you, fam? <laughs> yeah. He basically, like, threatens him in the, in the thing, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is not gonna go well at all. Obviously, it's gonna come back in the future. Yeah. For some bullshit. Yeah. And he's Jughead like, and yeah. Yeah. Jughead and Doc are talking, and Doc's like, "Hey, I actually know your Jughead. That guy yeah. from this." Way oh yeah. Well, we, we forgot to mention he saves him again because oh, yeah. there's also like earlier like there's also I don't know if it's the same businessman, but there's a, I guess there's just a pandemic of businessmen beating up old beating up uh homeless people, but like he wakes up. And then, like, you know, he sees Doc getting beat up by, by a businessman guy. And oh, he comes yeah. over and saves him by, like, smacking something, something over his head. And then, like, he goes over, he's like, thanks for saving me. He's like, yeah. And, he's like, and then, yeah, that's when he's like, he's like, actually, and then Joke is like, actually, I'm mean, gonna name's Joke. And then he's like, yeah, I knew. And he's like, what, you knew? He's like, yeah. And he's like, I'm sorry for not saving you. He's like, well, you were a kid. So you couldn't really do much anyway. Yeah, exactly. Which is kind of funny, and then he gives him he gives him like good advice, which is which is that classic like, oh it's a whole advice from 
some random stranger, <laughs> homeless guy. Yeah. He's like, figure your shit out. <laughs> Basically. So it sums that. That's what it sums up to, and then, and then Jacket's like, really? all right, that and then was literally just a guess, man. Yeah. And then Jacket just like, I guess he's like, I'm gonna go back to Riverdale, and then like walks. Yeah. And then uh, Betty and and Tabitha wake up, and they're like, hey. It feels like a week's passed. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? Has an actual week passed? What the fuck? I don't, I, I don't even know. <laughs> they never explained what day it was. Yeah. I think I think it was just the next day, but... <laughs> but I was yeah. like, wait, maybe it is actually. <laughs> oh, and then they found out that Jug had called them. Yeah, yeah, so Jug had... And he's actually This is where I was walking, confused, right? Because, like... He's walk... He, we think he's walking to New York. But he's really hitchhiking on a lonely highway, and he gets on a semi truck. No, you and... no you no you mean we think he's walking to Riverdale, right? Oh yeah yeah yeah. But the sign said New York City, blank miles. I can't remember how many miles it was. Yeah, so he's he's at, he's at that truck stop, I think, and then he yeah. calls over a truck. He, yeah, the truck picks him up, and I which is like ominous wonder... music and everything. Yeah, I wonder if it's uh. If it's the trash bag killer. Yeah. Well, that's what I think. Well, that's what they want you to think. I think too, because it's like it's like ominous music playing, and it's like it's yeah. like a big, huge, massive truck, and it's like very ominous, and you're like, oh shit, is he walking into a trap, type of thing? Right? Is he walking straight to the trash bag killer? And then yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go to New York, I guess, to get some shit figured out. Which I okay, like nothing has changed besides his mindset. Like he, it's not like he suddenly has money now, so I don't understand. Um, how he's gonna solve anything? But okay, good, good luck, good luck for you, Jughead. And like, like I said, this is where in the beginning where I'm like, this is where I got confused because I like, because remember I was like, wait, they found out the girlfriend's cell phone number from his. I thought it was from his cell, but then he ends up calling them from a cell, I guess, right? Yeah. Or I guess from a cell, because it looks like that's what he's doing. But I don't know. I guess he just stole the homeless guy's cell phone. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I think... I think that's it, right? It just ends there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. God damn. That was, uh... Definitely... What I was expecting. Aha. And in the credits... In the credits it says, Promotional consideration provided by SmartFood. <laughs> oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, because they used it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Aww. funny. Um. Yeah. No, that was. That's crazy. That was. That was. Yeah. I mean, that was just about, about as much as I expected to happen would happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's only gonna get crazier from here. True. Cause it's just it's just Riverdale. <laughs> All that's right, but true. yeah, but yeah, I guess that's it. We'll we'll get yeah. um we we'll get to the I guess to do the next episode next week. Episode twelve, I guess. This is episode eleven. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, some more just crazy shit will happen. Of course, it's Riverdale. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna get even more stupid. It will. I just, <laughs> I just can't wait. <laughs> oh man. Sure, sure. <laughs> what do you say? I mean, well, yeah. Well, it's it's kind of like watching a like a train wreck, right? Yeah. Or a car crash. You're like, you're like, oh, I don't want it to happen, no, but you can't. No, I don't. No, I can't look no. away. <laughs> uh, it's like watching a train wreck. Have a giant fat guy take a shit on the train too. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> train wreck isn't bad enough. A giant fat guy needs to shit on everyone there. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I guess that was it. So yeah, hopefully. Right. You guys See enjoyed. You guys in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll we'll do the next one sometime next week thanks for watching and yeah we'll see you guys in the next episode
Peace.